Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. So as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving each other. Whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. Beyond all these things, put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity. Motivated by love, God provided a way for our sins to be forgiven. He sent Jesus to be our Savior. When we trust in the Lord's substitutionary sacrifice on our behalf, we receive the gift of forgiveness. Before placing faith in Christ, a person is dead in their sins and is an object of divine wrath. However, our merciful Heavenly Father sent His Son to offer us redemption. At the cross, Jesus took our sins upon Himself and experienced God's fury for our sake. Once we trust in Jesus Christ, we're saved by grace through faith in Christ and what He accomplished. Salvation is a free gift to be received from the Heavenly Father. God's will is that we forgive just as we're forgiven. But the human tendency is to attach conditions when extending mercy. We think, I will forgive you only if you apologize, or you must make restitution before I'll let this go. That's not what our Savior did. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 tells us, But God demonstrates His own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Depending on how much hurt we've experienced, it may take some time to heal and fully forgive. But we're to remember that showing mercy is God's will. We're called to pardon those who've caused us pain. Through reliance on God's Spirit, we can become Christ-like and forgive. 